No, I don't want to ride a chocobo. I want to learn how to ride. Well, that kind of is the same thing, really, I guess. I want to learn how to catch. No, I don't even. I don't even know how to say this in a badass way. It's time to do the chocobo race. This is the first time we're gonna basically do all of the things combined. There's birds. There's balloons. There's another chocobo. It's a long track. This is the final challenge, basically. Now let's go. We need to just beat her to get the weapon. But we need to do far more than that to actually get the sigil. Immediately she's sort of grabbing all the balloons early on. God damn it. It's fine, we can catch up here. This is where the birds start coming. Um, getting hit by a bird is pretty catastrophic. Not only do you basically stop running for about 1.2 seconds or so, it also adds seconds to your final time. So what you gotta do is... It sounds simple. Avoid the birds. Get as many balloons as you can. Try to get a handle on your chocobo and make it to the end before her. But even if you make it before her, if you've gotten hit by more birds and she's taking more balloons than you, you might still lose. But let's see. Ah, we're good. We're good. Yay! Got a Cerberus time of 25 seconds, but that's fine. Level 3 key sphere. And a Chivo. Okay, now we can go pick up the weapon. This guy usually blocks our path, but now that we won, he moves over here to congratulate us. Down here. We find this little sigil thing, and with the celestial mirror. We raise it to the sky. And we find a sword. Now there was like it looks like it, we picked up the sword there, but it also did sort of appear to show up in our hands. This is the Kalibog, Titus's celestial weapon. Right now it doesn't feel very celestial. It's actually awful. No AP and nothing else. There's nothing good about this. We need to power it up. To do that, we need the Sun Crest and the Sun Sigil. While all of these side quests have been going on, I've been running around capturing things with these three. See, the cut capture limit on those. We need to get the Ogre, who's a bit tougher. And will counterattack. Punch Titus in the face. Oh, we got him. And we learned Victor for our Auron, which is pretty good. Alright, and make our way back to the Chocobo Trainer. And we need to do this again. And again. And again. Hey, I saw the rays! You were the best, but also lucky! Come on, man. Give me an honest compliment. He's right, though. There is a fair bit of luck involved. Not only are the balloons randomly placed, uh, obviously the AI doesn't take a set path and the birds come in different places, so... Actually beating her is a bit of a luck, but you've got to be pretty good at it. This time I get in front and grab all the balloons, which is a pretty big deal. That, uh, that alone sort of cuts my time down by, like, 12. If you can sort of keep her in front of you there, you'll block any birds. Mostly good, but you still gotta pay attention here. Alright, she's in front of me. Whenever the camera changes, actually controlling the chocobo gets a little bit annoying. But we're doing good dodging the birds here. Ah! If we hadn't hit that one, it would have been a clean run. No birds. Still, this seems pretty solid. Down to 7.3. Alright. Improvements, improvements. Alright, we can avoid the first one. We can stay to the right here and grab a whole bunch of balloons. Just barely in front. We missed that one, though. Take the long turn here, which should leave her to take the birds. There we go. 
Okay. Dodge the birds now. There's a whole bunch of balloons there to grab. Ooh! Sharp turn. Nice. This is good. This is good. Dodge all the birds now. Dodge all the birds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. That should not have hit. Alright, still good. Still good. Okay, this is it. This might be the one. This might be the run. It's a little high, and that one bird. 1.7! Ah! We need to go below zero. Once we go below zero, we've got this. There we go. Oh, this is the perfect start. Perfect start. Okay, okay, okay. To the right. The balloons. Dodge that bird. Oof, that was close. It's that turn, I wanted to get that right balloon as well. Okay, dodge the birds now. <sighs> Going left there made me still turn to the right, but we can dodge them all. Grab these two and we're good. I only got one. Is it enough? This was a really good run. This could be it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Trainer's taking forever. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is it. This is totally it. 100% it. We did it! Achievements. Sun Sigil. Nice. Um, I cut out a, a couple of the ones where I didn't do very well. But honestly, I did this pretty fast. There we go. Sun Sigil. I think it was about eight, maybe nine runs from start to finish. I'm honestly pretty proud of that. Right. So we don't have the Sun Crest yet, sadly, and we can't get it yet. We get it later. Which means we cannot upgrade Titus' weapon to his full power yet. Oh, chest here. I missed that one before. Level 2 key is fair. Alright. Now, while all this side quest stuff's been going on, I've been doing a whole bunch of capturing. Um, Kept it out so you guys didn't have to see me run around fight monsters over and over and over. Let's see what the uh, Monster Arena guy has to say about that. Let's say first. Alright, man. Caught all the fiends of the calm lands. Here's a token of my appreciation. This is what I got. A chest. Normally you can't open it, but luckily, we have the Celestial Mirror already. The Nirvana. The second Celestial Weapon. This one for Yuna. Again, we uh, have the Moon Crest, but we do not have the Moon Sigil. Similarly, it's just as lame as it was for Titus. But it's okay, we'll work on that. For now, though, Capturing all the Calm Lands beast gives us 64 plane, which is good for customizing. And we have a shot of fighting it. This is Chimera Geist. This guy is pretty tough. He's got about 120k health. He hits really hard. But he has, like all the other Chimera dudes we've fought so far, a pattern. So if we can properly protect us with the null magics we should be good it goes aqua breath flame um, aqua breath flame physical attack then then either thunder or blizzard so if we can properly keep the null spells up while attacking, we should be good. The difficulty here is keeping track of which ones we have on us and which ones we don't. But if we keep buffs and we keep attacking, we should be okay. As you can see, he hits pretty hard. Uh, Rocket being dead sucks because it means we're going to have to keep recasting all the known spells. 
and also rehaste him. But even if we can't survive his physical attack, with proper null spells, we should be able to survive his three other rounds. Okay, here we go, Acrobat. We have Null Tide, right? Yes, we do. We can't win him in a defensive war. We need to actually damage him. That's Rock has the tightest job. Um... I think he just did a physical attack, so... Okay, no flame was coming. As long as he doesn't need Waka, we're fine. Nice. Alright, now we just keep keep the nulls up and we'll be good to go. Well, this will he'll work up to full. And then maybe, if he gets an attack, he might survive. Immune! What else do we need? No Tide, I think. We don't have that, since he did Aqua Breath. And that is coming next, so we do need No Tide. We have plenty of turns to do that. There we go. No Frost on everyone. Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good now. These are the AoE ones. And he won't hit me now, I don't think. And... Okay, what do we need now? Shock and Frost, right? Almost got another overdrive coming. I, I guess I we heal now, but we're all kind of already healed, but. I forgot to haste him up, so we need to do that. We have all the nulls, I, I guess. Yeah, everyone has null tied. There we go. This should be fine, we should have got protection. 
then we can redo it, so we have protection for it again. And I think... After this, and maybe after a few more attacks, he should be down. Nice! Overkill too! Good, 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 good. You need over 10k to overkill him, so at this point on, that's pretty much an overdrive. Not particularly amazing AP, but however, getting two return spheres is pretty cool. Oh yeah. Well, we've done our first couple of steps in the Monster Arena. As you can see, there are different areas uh, of the areas we've been to. Some of them are known yet. Um, you go to each area, you capture all of these people. As you can see, I've captured ten of everything here, except the Ogre and the Marlboro, who are a little bit rarer. So we've almost max captured everything in Calmlands. And that is what unlocked the Chimera guys for us to fight. Anyway, that's more late game stuff. I think we're about done with side quests and stuff in Calmland, so um, let's go continue the story. Come on, Chocobo. We're finally moving on. Calmlands has been great, but we have a job to do. Uh, no, I very much do not want to go back to Pavel. Go this way. Aw, oh, the Chocobo doesn't want to follow me. I can understand that. So many save spheres. I like it. Um, there's a path downwards here? Oh, hello. Halt! Guado. Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. Yeah, so out of our way. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. I warn you. The Maester doesn't need you alive. This is Defender X. He's a tough one. I... oh. We don't have a sensor weapon. Well, that's fine, actually. Um, we had a first strike weapon equipped, so we might as well just switch immediately to the sensor weapon. And we should still have a turn left over. Um, this guy can be pretty tough, but I know how to deal with him. Firstly, we can make him blind. Not a lot of damage, but that's okay. Counterattack he has, and this is Blast Punch, and that's what we'll be seeing the most, and that's for a very particular reason. He has a bunch of physical attacks, he's generally just pretty tough. He can just punch you, he can do like a super punch thing, and um, that's mostly it. He also does Blast Punch. Now, Blast Punch does half your, your current HP, which means he can never kill you. So if we can make it so that he would always do Blast Punch, we'll never die. That sounds like a plan to me. So, let's do that. By provoking him, he will always do Blast Punch on Titus. Um, so let's uh, haste. We need to make sure that everyone gets a turn. We're going to have uh, Auron and Waka trade out with the other people a little bit. Waka for Kimari. Yuna for Lulu. At least gets to see the enemy or something. Uh, Riku can steal. Yay, Lunar Curtain. And, uh... He's already provoked, right? I don't need to... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it was right there. I didn't need to do that, but that's okay. I'll keep an eye on him to make sure that he buffs up. Let's bring back in uh, the heavy hitters. Walk out. Actually, you have a first strike weapon as well. We maybe get in a strength weapon for you. 
Like that one. Plus three plus five. Yeah, that should be the best one. Just do a little bit more damage. And of course, Auron. Who I think also still has his capture weapon equipped, so... Piercing plus ten. There we go. Now we should be basically ready to start killing him. Um, he is still resistant to physical attacks. We can deal with that. What we want to do is... Um, I guess we don't need to Dark Buster him anymore, so... Let's aim, I guess. I'm pretty sure we're always going to hit him, but, you know, it's something. Uh, he's still provoked. Good. Then we can share a little bit. And what we really wanted to do here is armor break. That makes it not so tough anymore. Now we can attack with impunity, as they say. While he keeps blast punching Titus. And we get stronger and stronger. Arm particularly, obviously, is very strong. I think I'm going to save his overdrive for the overkill. These bosses tend to drop some good stuff, so you want to make sure you always overkill so that you get twice the items and stuff. He's still provoked. Good. good. Yep. I wonder how long it lasts? I don't think it lasts forever. Maybe it does. And I think that's the last chair we need to do. Oh no, 170. Oh man, he almost hit for 9k. 9,000, well, 9.3k without even... Oh my god, we're hitting so hard now. Okay. Alright, next one is gonna be... Is he still provoked? Yes, he is. Easy peasy. Let's finish it in style with, uh, I think, a banishing blade. You keep blast punching, buddy. 85. Banishing blade. Shooting star. Banishing blade. Banishing blade. I think that's a cool one. There we go. Goodbye, Defender X. Almost 10k AP, not bad. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have leveled up Titus Arn and Waka before we actually did the fight. Oh well. Two level 2 key spheres. Nice. Ah, yeah. We're good. Alright, let's go back and heal. Save. We've got a cave open for us. This is an optional cave, but it's time to do it now. Might as well. Let's do this fair grid. Worth getting the level 3 hair for Entrust? Oh yeah, we talked about that. Maybe that's why I left him here. Maybe I had a reason for it. We do, well, we do have one. Entrust is pretty good. Let's level the others for now. I haven't missed anything there, no. Mana. Speed. More speed. Agility and stuff. And accuracy like he doesn't have enough. You have to walk to the side here to grab this, but it's three strengths. Definitely worth it. And the power sphere. Titus is on his way as well. Is this a 4? Maybe it's worth it. I do have a bunch of level 3s coming, so... Might be worth saving them here. Because they're definitely strong enough that we don't really need to worry that we're not totally leveling up. So, saving for Entrust here. Oh, and another one here. 
for the strength for Riku. Not that she particularly needs that much strength, but it's still good. That could be could be something to do, honestly. I think it might be worth. And another level three here for for Lulu. You know, doesn't have one though, so she can she can just move. Magic defense and magic, so she's even stronger now. Kimari is on his way to grab uh, that one, which is extract power. Not that useful. Honestly, I haven't really used them once ever. It will be handy late game, but... Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait to level up them until I get the, the level 3 keys first. Okay. We're moving on to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. <laughs> 